All right, peeps. Welcome back. Welcome back to Power World, where uh, the new base, it's undergone a bit of transformation. I've been working on this thing. I've really been trying to get this thing nice and good and beautiful and doing what bases are meant to do. And uh, so far, I think I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving what I've managed to pull up here. It's really not like me to build around a very difficult terrain, no matter if it's Power World or Ark or any game at all. I'm more of a flat surface type of make it really easy for myself type of guy but uh this this has tested me this has tested my my skills um but all in all i am absolutely loving what we've do, done here guys before we go any further and i give you a little bit of a tour of what i've been working on please go ahead punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs up and uh hey let me give you a tour of how this whole thing's come together so uh let's start here Let's start everything in front of us. The bridge is still the bridge. Nothing's changed with the bridge. Um, just a little bridge across this little river, which is good because I've been transporting quite a lot of stuff around. Uh, over here, though, this is where everything's changed already. Uh, we've obviously got metal nodes and a couple little stone nodes doing their thing. Um, up here, I've gone and placed a little farm down because I needed some wool. And now we've got these little dudes here doing their thing. Our little Lambos giving us plenty of that. I need cloth. It yeah it makes sense um let me chuck that in there we got our little wood thing over here which honestly is probably quite pointless i got so much wood now it's, it's ridiculous i probably don't even need the little trees but we got them anyways we got a big storage box because i could it was really expensive to place down but i don't know it's got a lot of storage in it so that's pretty sweet might need to actually install one inside the base we'll see we got a little mining outpost here where my guys are just doing their thing and doing it good let me grab look at that 300 300 stone bam just like that fantastic um this here had to change a little bit because i had to relocate my town center thing the power box uh so it's a bit smaller it's a bit different uh we got two crushes we got the furnace we got everything else um i had to replace everything because moving the power box went and destroyed all my structures and these things here are finally doing what we want them to be doing they're creating us a ton of powdium fragments so we can make a lot of spheres uh so that's fantastic and this here is increasing everybody's mining rates which is double good yay um i think i still gotta actually place a water fountain but i keep using all of, yeah i keep going to do this and then i keep using all my stone on patty and fragments let me actually hop in here i'm gonna cancel it i'm gonna regret it it's gonna make me really heavy and then i need i just need to keep like 200 of them which i just got rid of way too many <laughs> but i want to get this this uh this what do you call it uh fountain i gotta get this fountain set up uh because it's gonna increase the speed at water uh, water jobs i suppose which is basically the crusher so it's gonna make the crusher do the crusher thing extra quick um it's just really hard to get around because everything's so darn heavy we all right let me just drop it all in here and we're going to work out where we're going to place this fountain. Uh, but hey, we'll head over to the main base over here because that's probably where the fountain's going to go. So as it currently stands, my power box is located here. Uh, we have a second floor atop our base over here. We've got these staircases running up either side. There's nothing up here though yet. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to use this area for just yet. This is what we're going to get into in just a second. Down here though, this is our main production floor. We've got two workbenches. I think that's the sphere workbench, the weapon workbench, the just general things workbench. For some reason, nobody's crafting my cement for me. I need I need somebody to do some crafting for me. Everybody's so stuck on the mining. Uh, food box, which I got to move. Let's do that right now. This, it's just in the way. That's the thing. I, I just got a, a few things that still... I still need to iron out. I got no source of things getting cooked. Um, I've got no uh, place for my guys to relax. I need to get them like a um, whatever it's called. Anyways, because I moved to the power box, we now have less room over here. So that's the unfortunate part. And this is basically the edge of the base. So I've been trying to work out how we're going to do this. Um, do I turn this into a room and like place some stone walls across the back here and box it all up, turn it into a bedroom? That makes sense. I could do that um or do i instead turn it into a little bit of a retreat and we can place some hot springs back here we could probably do both actually that actually fits actually fits really well oh dude that's like perfect double hot springs 
This can be like the little... Oh, dude, I'm doing that. That's awesome. Yeah. And this can be... Um, oh, dude, I don't even need a box to box it in. I can just leave the walls down. Give my guys here a sense of nature. It's all beautiful. Uh, yeah, this is where my guys are going to relax and, you know, keep their sanity. I still haven't been able to find anything to fill in this little gap, which pains me so darn much. I really probably should have just scrapped everything and uh, rebuilt it all just a tiny little smidge higher. But um, all in all, I think it's coming together really good. Got a little extra workbench area over here. Um, I got, uh, what do you call it? Just storage, basically. This is where the old power box was. So it was just the closest box I had. So that's doing its thing over there. Electricity generator over there. And that's how it currently stands. Um, yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments. I think it's pretty good. I don't think there's much I've forgotten. Um, as far as productivity goes though, we got no farms, which means we got no food generating. The old base is still taking care of that, but I guess I'm gonna move something down here eventually. So we're gonna need like a mill. Um, we're going to need, okay, oh, that's right. We got the ranch. That thing there was tough to place. I had to do a lot of moving around to make us be able to place that. But the downside is, I've got nowhere to place a breeding farm. So yeah, we just got nowhere to put a breeding farm. This is uh, not flat enough, unfortunately. I don't really know what to do. I think we, we'd, we would have to move the power box. That's gonna destroy a lot of my structures, uh, I think. So it's really annoying. Um, this is, this seems to be nothing I can do about it. So yeah, that's the, that's the annoying thing about all of this. I just can't find a workaround to get this breeding farm it's huge and anyways that will allow us to breed some 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 powers if i were to be able to find a, a a nice spot to place this thing it's like so close that's the worst part i feel like we're only like a smidge of room shy of being able to actually place it down look at this like it's 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 big i feel like it's but just so close it's just obviously not level ground which doesn't help our case either so yeah, we, we, yeah, this is the downside. Can't place it up there. Has to be on the floor, I'm pretty sure. Uh, is my guy all right? You're sleeping. Yeah, we gotta, that's the other part. And that's the reason I've been trying to collect cloth. We're gonna get these guys some good, some good beds. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use fluffy power beds eventually once I save up enough uh, cloth to make that happen. Uh, but all in all, I think that's about it. I obviously gotta get some incubators so we can start incubating eggs. Maybe I'll do that up here. Maybe I'll just, um, Oh my goodness, if I could hop down from here. we Kind of like tuck them over here instead. We can do like a whole bunch of them, as a matter of fact. They're actually not that expensive. Yeah, let's do that. One, two. Uh, uh, uh. Insufficient materials because I need cloth. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It's not that urgent anyways. But yeah, this is the this is the tricky part. It's just working out. Oh, and storage. I haven't even got storage sorted yet. So yeah. It's, uh, it's coming together though. It's coming together. Now, let's go and pay a quick visit to the old base uh, because it's kind of been torn apart quite a bit. It's, um, it's, 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 I've been slowly tearing it apart. What can I say? Just for use of resources, I suppose. Um, yeah. <laughs> In fact, I could, I could probably continue to do that. Uh, this doesn't really need to be here anymore. I'll grab all that stone. We'll chuck it in here and I'll grab all this in a second. This thing here. Yep, may as well grab the resources from that as well. Chuck them all in there. Uh, and then basically what we end up doing is busting this up. Picking. Oh, not a good time for a raid. I can barely move. Are you kidding me? And then we just do this. Okay. Woo I got to get to that box over there though. And then I just dump it all in there. Uh, ideally, what I probably should have done was kept both pace, uh, bases operational. But um, I didn't. <laughs> and now, now it's too late. So, I don't know. We'll find a better solution. We'll find some way of uh, bypassing that or something. But for now, we've got a base to defend. So, let's go, Beacon. Get him, my friend. Oh, incinerate. In I, I want one of these guys. And there's two of them. Uh, Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to try and catch this thing. 21% catch rate. It's probably not going to catch because I just have terrible luck all the time. But let's keep trying. Hopefully nobody... Please don't kill it. Don't please, 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 please. Yes! Woohoo! All right. <laughs> Nothing like catching a nice high level creature. You didn't even have to go looking for it. It just appeared in your base on its own accord. 
All right, let's check out, check out what this guy's all about. Um, this guy, Incineram Noct. He's a miner, he's a handyman, and a transporter. Um, no passive skills, shadow attacks, attacks enemies, yada yada. Nah, not that good, but good enough, I suppose. Since we're currently checking out all our bases, though, let's go past the mining outpost because I know for a fact I haven't been here in a while. And uh, yeah, my guys are. Yeah, okay, they've been neglected. Oh, my poor dudes, they're all starving to death. What kind of, what kind of person am I? Here, 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 eat. In fact, I need, let me keep half of those. Let me keep half of those. Oh my goodness, they're all hungry, depressed, starving, major injuries. I might need to shut this base down because it's, it's, it's not kind. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty bad. But have a look at the metal that we have uh, pulled from this place. And this is the whole reason we've kind of got the base operating out here. I currently got 350 metal. And then we got all of it. Actually, I'm going to bust this. Get rid of that one there. And look at this. On top of all of that, we can get another 90. We just got met like metal gloss. These guys just keep chopping trees down. I don't need wood. I don't need wood, guys. We can, we can, we can, you know, we can cool it down on all of that. You know what? Let me just grab everything from this base. And we'll take it over to the new one. I'm going to need it for building resources. So we may as well just scoop it all up. And then let's try to get this right. Dude, you just appeared at the wrong place at the wrong time. Whee! All right. I'm going to move this box. It's in a terrible location. But uh, generally, I would pull myself towards it. And we kind of instantly just be able to throw everything straight in there. Clearly, that's not the case today. Now, as things stand, we're doing all right. I really like what we've uh, managed to be doing here. Um, I don't know if my team is good enough to take on this boss tower but i'm kind of tempted to try it's out in the middle of the desert obviously um but i don't know it'd be kind of cool to give it a crack i think you guys are right here just chilling yep okay i think we made the right choice all right am i losing my mind here okay i'm glad that you're making medicine but i'm trying to get these guys to operate my workbench it's just not happening no did i just throw you at the bed i wasn't meant to do that Look, it says the power can be assigned. I throw it, and then it says there's no work in the immediate vicinity. I mean, there kind of is. But why does nobody want to do the work? I even canceled the order and tried to start fresh, but it's just not happening. Uh, what if I used another one of these? In fact, I should probably get a fresh grapple gun, for example. So, all right, now they all want to help out. So, my team are happy to help out here. But nobody wants to operate this big bench. It's just confusing. I, I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand why. Like if I pick you up. No, they just decide they don't want to. Is there like something that I'm missing? Is there a different? There must be a different option. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Planting handiwork. So handiwork is what I assume it would be. Unless there's a no. There's not. I thought maybe there was like another option for crafting. But there most certainly is not. So I don't, I don't get it. For some reason, they just don't want to operate that workbench, which is bizarre to me. I wonder if... Uh, okay, so they're happy to... Oh, for a second there, one of them was allocated to this, which means that it's at least on their radar. But then this one's just like ignored. Well, there's only one thing I can think of doing, and that's rebuilding it from scratch. So, it was the productivity assembly line. And I can't really work out where it was placed, but I think roughly... I'm trying to line them all up. Roughly about there. All right. Well, everybody's helping me build it. That's a positive sign, I suppose. But then will they actually, you know, assist me in crafting here as well? Hey, all right. One of them at least is. Oh, penguin mate. Good. All right. So we're actually getting some help. I don't know what was preventing them in the first place, but yeah, hopefully we can uh, sort that out in the future. And that's not a common issue moving forward because yeah, that would just, 
That would just suck. Well, in good news, we've got our Giga Grappling Gun. I just... Uh, yeah, okay, good. It's definitely an upgrade. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I was like, tell me we haven't just recrafted the exact same one that we've already got. But no, 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 no. It is an upgrade. That's good to be seeing. Yeah, I was a little bit nervous there for a second. But uh, yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, yeah, for some reason, though, still getting issues with anyone crafting cement for me. That may, I don't know. Maybe there's just something really obvious that I'm missing. But for whatever reason, uh, nobody wants to help me out with that one there. It is what it is. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm about to say this. I'm currently looking at this base and I'm, I'm wondering like what it still does for us. What, I guess, reason does it still have for existing? And honestly, I don't know if there is one. Uh, we've got beds, we've got a bit of farmland, we've got my bed, we got a cooking pot um, and some storage. And outside of that, not a lot really. We've got the farm over here, but like all I got to do is that and it's gone. Like it's that's it it's, it's it's not really serving any purpose um there's oopsie um yeah there's really no reason for this to still be here so i can't believe i'm considering doing this but we can just dismantle this base i can dismantle this i can dismantle this and this and i should probably make sure i'm not dropping any like specific things but last but not least this our base no longer exists out here I have an idea. I don't know if it's a silly idea, but it's one we probably need to enact pretty quickly. I don't know why I'm doing this right now. I really, I'm like second guessing this as I do it. Um, I'm gonna move this base uh, and I guess everything that it has done for us up until now. Why have I just done this? I really feel like I've just jumped the gun so darn hard, but it, I, I, like it just is what it is, I suppose. If I could just reach that, great, fantastic. I can just pull myself back over. Oh, I got no way of fast traveling. Oh, I didn't think this through now, did I? Um, oh no. I should have transported everything first. <laughs> I really, I really messed that up. Um, oh wow, we had quite a bit of food in there. <gasps> the traveler's back. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that. Wait, Traveler? What, what even is he? Hold on a second. Uh, so this guy here was like the first, one of the first guys we met. We spoke to him. I set up my base here and he just disappeared on us. He's back. Oh man. Uh, you're like the reason I like originally built a base out here, dude. Um, but I'm thinking, I got, I got a plan. All right, I got a plan. It might be not a good plan, but I mean, whatever. We're going to try and make this work. Um, I'm going to have to transport stuff a little bit at a time. But... Uh, I gotta get myself over to that beacon over there and I'm gonna I guess transport all of the stuff over to the new spot and Oh my goodness. What if I, I, I can't believe I just did that. It's destroyed our whole base Like I knew what I was doing as I was doing it, but it doesn't make the decision any easier I'm gonna fast travel back to a new base away from what was our old base um, I don't know how much room this chest has in it, but it's not gonna be enough. I know that I'm going to get myself over to the big chest over here, which probably isn't even going to be enough to carry everything. So I'm going to have to craft a second big chest. Uh, man, I really didn't think this through. I really didn't think this through. All right, let's get all the resources in there. Can't even put the wool in there. That's that's how little space I've actually got in here. Um, and then I'm going to have to craft up. Actually, hold on. I just built this thing. Oh, this is backfiring a little bit. Hey, right, put me down, put me down. Uh, I've got this wooden shelf. All right, I'm just going to put the rest of it in here for the time being. Like that. That's enough, right? I can I can carry the rest of this, I'm pretty sure. Give me something light. Bam, there we go. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And what I'm kind of thinking of doing is... uh, I'm going to need the resources to build this. So if I can grab... I think it's just one. I think I legit just need one of those. Give me two of them then. Um, And then like 10 of these. And then I think... 10 of these. Here's what I'm kind of contemplating doing. I have no idea if this is a good call or not. This is... Okay. Another raid. They're not going to be able to get to us, so we can probably just ignore it. But that's what's coming at us. Nothing to tame down there. It's just those stinking guys. Uh, I'm considering building a second base attached to this base. And basically using the second base as purely like a farming type of area... Um, and then we can kind of all just like live together. That's assuming that this actually works. I really should have tested this first, but it's too late. Um, so 
let me dismount. Dismount. I guess I'll just glide down. I also don't know how far away I'm gonna have to move to place the power box because I want to get it as close as we can. Um, too close to another base. No. Wait, like they're not touching, but it's too close. Oh, I was really hoping that we could have them like really, really close together. <gasps> oh, it lets me place it over here though. Oh, that's pretty close. It's not like super close, but close enough. I could do it down here. Maybe like here. Yo, I, can, I like it's not too far off. I think I think that's as far as I can get right there. Uh, no, it's just overlapping with something. Or, no, nah, nah, it's too close to another base. Okay, so it looks like this is the closest that we can get it. So in that case, I'm going to place down a foundation. Just so I can, like, set a bit of a center point of this area. This is such a silly idea. I don't even know why I'm bothering doing this. It's already kind of backfiring when you think about it. And then... Right... Wait, why can't I, why isn't this placing? It's kind of getting a little bit broken and stuff. Place on top of the foundation. Oh, hold on a second. I think I see what's going on here. My friend, are you in the way? Is that what's going on? What do you mean? It, okay, so I can place it over here. All right, fine. Let's, let's try that one then. Foundation up here. And then power box. What do you mean? I placed, I've done this. I did it over at the other base. I placed my power box on top of a foundation. Now it won't let me do it. Why not? But then I can do it like this. Ah, my goodness. I don't even know, but fine. I'll just place it like this. And I guess the whole thing I'm getting at here is uh, we can have two bo uh, bases in pretty close proximity. I would have rather than be a little closer. I'm gonna see if I can like alter that in config. I might even be able to place it up here. Um, and then I can use this this big area over here as kind of like my farming space. I might even just move it down here and do like a big circle down here. The farming space doesn't need to have anything going for it. It's purely just gonna be for generating food, uh, breeding, and that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking of doing. Too late to go, well, too, yeah, it's too late to, to change the plans now. I guess we're kind of just stuck doing it. Let's see if we can find like a sweet spot that captures this entire area. Um, it's like, this is kind of the vicinity that I'm looking at. I'm going to have to pull my guy back. Let's try it again with the foundation. I really just want to stick this thing on a foundation. And then the power box. What do you mean? Why are you doing this to me? I, you let me do this up there with the other base. But you're not going to let me do it here. Like, I feel like that's not fair. <laughs> Come on. Like, like, why? Fine, fine, fine. You really want to be tricky with it? There, okay. There, done. Done. Bam. There we go. All right. Build it here. And we got this big old space that we can use as our farming plot, I suppose. It's not as close as I would have liked. I might even be able to move it a little bit closer, but we can we can tweak it as 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 we go. Um, the only downside is it's not going to have access to the resources we've got up here, so we are going to have to transport, um, you know, the stuff across, I suppose, which is a little bit of, of an annoyance, but it's not the end of the world. Um, can I dismount, please? Try to dismount, but now we're attacking. Come on, dude, just let me let me hop off you, please. There we go. But then again, I can just transport. I can fast travel down there. So that, that, that actually doesn't work out too badly. Um, but yeah, ultimately breeding farm is what I'm thinking goes down there. Wood, stone, and fiber. Um, and then all of the, not other stuff, but I guess a lot of the production stuff. Um, uh, where, are where are they? Food? Yeah. Wheat plantation, berry plantation. I know that there's also a tomato uh, plantation. We've also got the... You know what? Let's just go and do it. Uh, why talk about it when we can do it? Uh, I just need some resources. What are those resources going to be? That's a great question. Yes, it's going to be a good chunk of stone. A good chunk of wood. <laughs> why can't I see it? Just grab all the wood. A ton of fiber. 
Uh, that's probably all we're going to need to get started down there. And I guess I'll just bring a chunk of metal as well. Either way, I'm not going to be able to like run. So we're just going to have to grapple our way across. I'm going to build a little, little storage box over there while we're at it. Do you see how though I could place this one here on top of a foundation and then the other one just nopes out of it. Does not let me do it. But right, we'll fast travel over here. I'll place a little chest to the side. To the side. There we go. Build it quickly. And then open it up and get all the heavy stuff in there. And then once we've done that, basically... I want a ranch. We can get some ranches going if I want. Yeah, that's that's what this is going to be. Purely just a, a generating area. Uh, can I get a... Yes, we can get a breeding area. Woohoo! The whole purpose, the whole point that we built this spot. Can I tuck it over here in the corner? That'd be perfect. Bam. Just like that. Any downside is I got no friends here to help me build it. So let's get some. And we're also going to need like a little living quarters, obviously um who are all the guys that we just booted out of the old place i guess you you can help me um flambelle you're gonna give me your little fire things so that's gonna be handy um i don't necessarily need any like resource collectors but robin quill sure why not um and then i gotta work out who's good at what which i guess it's been a while well yeah i haven't really looked into this stuff in a while so gotta do that i suppose but there we go Step one, we can then set up a ranch or two, which, like I said, we're, go we're gonna actually. You know what? I should I should look into how these things actually work because I've never I've never used uh, one of these before. But I guess you got to put a male and a female in, provide them with cake, and then they breed. That's something I'm gonna have to look into soon. But you know what? Why not? Let's get two of them. That way we can do double breeding. Plus, we got the room for it, so we like we may as well. We can then go and put some plantations. Syndicate. Oh, oh man. We've got another raid going on. Where are they? They're coming from, from down there. All right. This is actually one I need to quickly check because I don't know if they can get up here. Are they going to be able to? I don't think so. They're definitely not coming in the right direction. Uh, we're good. We're good. They can't get up here. But this is actually working out pretty darn good i can go and place a big gate over here if i want to i know there's a giant stone gate that i can build uh defensive wall stone gate i need cement for that though unfortunately but we got cement up there i'm crafting a bunch of it at the moment so we can go and bring that down here and you know incorporate that into our, our build as well um as far as our little living quarters goes though probably just hmm where should they live? I actually don't know. But we're going to need a bunch of beds somewhere. For the time being, maybe we'll just stick to... Standard old straw beds. Keep it nice and simple for the time being. Place them all here in the middle, I reckon. One, two. Uh, they're all standing where I want to place them. Three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. I'll organize that at a later time, but it's just going to make sure that they've all got somewhere to sleep in case I do forget on what to, uh, you know, to sort them out. We're obviously going to need a hot spring out here to keep them, you know, happy and whatnot. Uh, but then look at this. We can, we can go and like do a little, do a little farm out here at the back. Bam. We can do a little, oh no, I'm out of wheat seeds. I'm surprised I had any wheat seeds on me, to be honest. But hey, look, a quick little fast travel up here. I'm a Gucci. <laughs> We're golden. Where's those wheat seeds? They're probably all at the uh, the old base. There's my cement. There's definitely no wheat seeds. I know that. We definitely... I didn't bring them across with me. <gasps> no, that's flour. Um, also, this thing's placed the wrong direction. I gotta... I gotta turn that around, I suppose. Not to mention, we still got stuff here. I gotta remember. I cannot forget that uh, we've still got stuff here at the original base. All right, this one here is empty. Let's bust it. This one here is... No. Oh, somewhat empty, I suppose. And this one here has got some pretty important stuff in it, which we should probably grab, but I can't carry it at all. Wheat seeds, though, is the important one. I'll have to come back for the rest. I just got done building the new farm. Well, here's a second one for you to farm. Bam. 
double wheat farm and then to top it all off i'm hoping i can craft this thing up i think it's over here in other uh a wheat silo wait silo do i need a silo i think what i was actually intending to build was the mill not the crusher the mill because that's gonna like grind all of our wheat i suppose but i guess i can just place that down here and then yeah we'll place the silo over here oh it's so coming together i love it we like that's it we've got ourselves a farming area just like that just like that perfect perfect i can pull, pull a little cook box here for the time being just so we can put some food in there and keep these guys all fed but yeah i think i think this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna expand this area so we've got an infinite amount of food and berries and everything in between um we're obviously gonna need a waterer we can go obviously turn our stuff into flour. I can set up a, a food area as well. And then, uh, of course, the whole the whole thing. Oh, yeah, and the stone gate. That's right. We're going to put the stone gate over here. Just because I think it's probably important for us to have some sort of... That is so crooked. <laughs> uh, you know what? You know what? Cancel that. Cancel it. Cancel it. Can I cancel it? Uh, hold on. Cancel. What if I were to do it like this? We kind of, uh, that's not going to work either. I was going to build a foundation just straight across, but I don't think that's going to work the way I want it to. Um, so it's just going to be a very crooked gate. Insufficient materials. What? What do you? All right, let's try that again. Big stone gate. And then obviously if we got a stone gate, well, there's no point having it without a defensive wall on either side of it. And thankfully these seem pretty cheap to place as well. So we can... Why does this one want to play straight, but the gate wants to be all crooked? That seems really counterintuitive, but... You know, it is what it is, eh? Um, about there. I <laughs> uh, love how that's straight, but the gate is just, like, on its own. It's got its own... It's got its own plans. And just like that, I'm out of stone. We've got no stone at the new base. Uh, gate. Mate, you couldn't just, like, align with everything else. <laughs> Well, whatever. <laughs> I don't even think anything's going to get up here to attack us. So I think that we are a okay. But yeah, this is uh, this is good. Mate, if I even want it, I can move my third base up here. And we can just have all three in one place. But I guess I kind of like what we've decided to do here. We've got the farming region. I might even remove our little ranch from up here. So I can keep mostly utility and stuff going up here. And then have all of our farming going on just down here. But uh, I think the double base definitely is the right ticket, uh, especially because I've wasted so much space uh, with our base location up here. We, we lose a lot to the water, and then uh, we've got a lot just hanging over the edge of the cliff over there too. It's not the smartest place to put a base, but all in all, we get everything we need up here. We've got stone, we've got metal, we've got wood. Um, it's just powdery and fragments, I guess, that are the, the tricky one. And coal! So I'm probably going to have to relocate the other other base so that we can have access to coal, which we're going to need to craft up some of this high quality metal. Uh, what, what's it called? Refined ingots. Yeah, I don't know much about this stuff, but we're gonna have to get onto that. But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed today. The base is, it's happening, it's thing, it's real. It's doing what it's meant to be doing, and I'm pumped about it. If you did enjoy the video, please go ahead, push that thumbs up. But most importantly, have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.